In many movies, the ideas of shrinking or being giant are present. Because wouldn't it be awesome to ride ants like horses or play with cars like toys? Unfortunately, there is one law about three dimensions that prevents this from occurring, the square cube law. The square cube law is not just a law of nature or physics, but a law of math. It's very simple. When you scale up an object, not all of its properties scale evenly. Depending on how many dimensions the property has, it will have a different scale factor. Scaling a line up by 2 doubles its length, while scaling a square up by 2 quadruples its area. This is because you can imagine area like two lengths multiplied together. So scaling up by 2 is really scaling up by 2 twice. For a cube, the scale up is by 8 because volume would be 3 lengths multiplied together. So scaling up by 2 thrice is 8. This gives us a simple equation. Scale factor to the power of dimension equals increase in value. The result of this equation is immense for 3 dimensions. If you had a cube and scaled it up by 2, it would be twice as long, but have 4 times the surface area and cross section, as well as 8 times the volume and mass. Here is where this law leaves the mathematical realm and takes effect on the real world. If you were to scale yourself up by, say, 10, then, because of the square cube law, you would die. You see, at 10 times larger, your bones and muscles are 100 times stronger because strength is based on cross-section. But you would weigh 1,000 times more, meaning that your legs and arms would be 10 times weaker comparatively. Just standing up could snap your legs, but you would be so weak that you couldn't stand up anyway. Also, the rate at which you lose body heat is determined by surface area because you can only lose heat at your surface. This means that you'd lose heat 100 times quicker at this scale. However, the rate at which body heat is generated is dependent on your volume, which would be 1,000 times greater. This means that as a giant, you would lose heat 10 times slower. As a result, you would heat and heat until you died of a fever. On the other hand is shrinking. If you shrank yourself by 10 times, then the exact opposite results of growing would occur. When it came to strength, you would be 100 times weaker, but 1,000 times lighter. This means that relative to your body weight, you would be 10 times stronger. Where body heat is concerned, however, you would not be much better off than when growing. You see, with 100 times less surface area but 1,000 times less volume, you would lose body heat 10 times faster and freeze to death. Now, while you can't actually change your size, there are animals already of these sizes. An elephant, which is not even 10 times bigger than a human, is the largest land animal. Because big things are weaker, elephants have very wide, strong legs to support themselves. Also, their cells are much less active, so they generate less body heat. Comparatively, ants have incredibly thin legs. Bugs in general have legs that seem incredibly thin compared to their body size. Yet ants can carry many times more than their own body weight. Their cells are also a lot more active to generate more body heat. In conclusion, because of the nature of three dimensions, proportional scaling does not leave things off with the same properties.